dude and the girls are watching a movie right now, and I really, really hope Mrs. Dude does not come down here and see this. We have the bulk of my Black Series figures sorted and put in the new bookshelves. It's time to tackle the Marvel Legends. Let's get them out of all these boxes. And as big as this pile of shame appears now, it's only about a third of the box figures I have. The rest are in the storage in the back of the basement. So we're gonna go through these and I'm just gonna keep pulling them out until we get through all of them. This box is full of carded retro Spidey and X-Men figures. These are all gonna stay in card and eventually get on a wall. All these carded Fantastic Four figures are waiting for Galactus to arrive. They're going to go up on the wall right there next to the DTOF, where Galactus has enough clearance to fit under the bulkhead. One of the things I've decided to do is to start purging these boxes I've held on to. I'm going to have a really hard time with this because I could justify keeping these because you know, special edition Infinity Saga boxes. But I'm going to look through as I'm going through these and decide, you know, do I need to keep this box or can I purge it and only keep the ones that are maybe the most special or valuable? And yeah, I can definitely purge the... Uh, Iron Man AI box. Yeah, I mean, a lot of these I can definitely purge. This one, Infamous Iron Man, I'm, I'm going to keep. That's a special character to me. One of my favorite uh, modern comic book runs. And then I had one to rock, one to stock. Definitely keeping her and Spidey safe in box. And uh, I did buy one, one to rock, one to stock with the Infinity Saga figures. Ooh, look at that beauty. Yeah, these are all inbox treasures that will be kept safe on one of the shelves. Ooh, do I keep this Captain Carter what if box? All right, I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile if I'm unsure. I think the Spider-Man boxes are good to keep just because these figures uh, do keep their value over time. Look at me already making multiple justifications for keeping Spidey figures. Even though these are technically Spidey figures, with Shriek and J. Jonah, I'm gonna have no problem letting these boxes go. Personal growth. Sue Storm and Deadpool X Force. Still in their white boxes, so those will be kept pristine. I think it's smart to keep uh, Spider Gwen as well as any Wolverine boxes. Accidental uh, pre order, I forgot to return, so uh, Shriek, uh, I got two Shrieks, which, ugh. Yeah, definitely keep that Nova safe as well as my extra strip. And some of these I just gotta open. Ooh, I gotta find a good spot for this dude box. And this Wolverine is definitely staying in box. <laughs> There's no way I can open this, so I have to find a, a very special place of honor. You know what, I feel like I can toss a lot of these. Yeah, man, I don't, I don't know that I need to keep these boxes anymore. I think this is great, I'm, I'm exhibiting personal growth. Made a successful trip to the scary part of the basement and have the next group of boxes for us to sort through. And as I predicted in the prior Black Series sorting video, I would find more of them. But the good news is, even though I did some pseudo organization on these Black Series shelves, uh, there's still plenty of space open underneath uh, for me to fit some more boxes. House of X Wave, so definitely keeping these boxes even though all the figures are out. The box looks interesting. We've got the Black Widow Deluxe. You know, I don't know if I need to keep this or not. I'm gonna think about that. We have some other good comic book figures. I think I'll keep, uh, definitely toss this. I don't need the Iron Heart, but uh, I think I'll keep Doom and Modular Iron Man. Ooh, man, these are some tough choices. I like the packaging in these boxes. I'm definitely gonna keep the cap uh, piggy. Oh, actually, no, no, I have one to rock, one to stock. All right, we're gonna, personal growth. We're gonna let this one go white boxes for Human Torch and Suit Store. I had no idea how many of these boxes I had, so glad we're sorting and purging. Dormammu's a keeper, maybe Death Strike is a maybe, Electra's a keeper, Red Skull is definitely a keeper. That's a good wave, that Super Villains wave. I might just keep it since I have the whole wave. I think I'm doing well, but I'm gonna keep these MC, some of the really good MCU ones, I think it just make them more collectible over time. I think I can let these boxes go even though they're MCU. Archangel is definitely a keeper because uh, it's 90s X-Men. There's a lot of my big deluxe boxes. Maestro, More Machine, Toxin, Red Hulk, 
And then any Spidey figures are definitely keepers as well. Yeah, I'll keep that one. That's from the Spidey movie. I was saving these retro cards, but I'm going to purge them now because I have backups of them. And um, I know there's value to them if I ever wanted to resell the figure. And these cards are in really great shape because I just peel them out and slide from below. So you can put it on the wall and not notice. But personal growth, man. Purging what I don't need. I'm ready for group three, are you? And of course, some more Black Series figures as I predicted. We're gonna start with this box because this is gonna be really easy. Just like I said before, I was keeping all these carded retro figures that I'd already opened, but personal growth says it's time to get rid of them. So I'm just gonna take this box, move it to the side, and we will recycle all of them. This is dude and the girls are watching a movie right now, and I really, really hope this is dude does not come down here and see this. Modoc. Oh yeah. Definitely got to keep this three pack for a 90s X-Men. Got Magneto Professor X. You know, I think I can toss that one. Iron Man Mark 50 Iron Spider. Probably keep that. Boba Fett Black Series. I will throw that in the Black Series pile. Uh, Silver Surfer is definitely a keeper. Let's see. Nighthawk's a keeper. That's such a cool box. I'll probably keep these Deadpool boxes. And we got Hercules, because he's rare. I'm going to keep it. And then Citizen V uh, can get recycled. Got some McFarlane, get the Star Wars out of the way. Let's see another, ooh, yeah, keeping the Juggernaut two pack. Oh, heck yeah, keeping the uh, Lover's Triangle three pack. Oh yeah, Professor X, Ghost Rider. You know what, I'm keeping all these in this box here for now. Yeah, everything in here is a keeper. I mean, look at that, Punisher. I definitely gotta keep that packaging. It's Black Series one. <laughs> Moloch, yeah, he's going in the recycling. Another box in the back storage. So these are some of my Toy Biz uh, Marvel Legends. I am 100% keeping these, so these are gonna stay in the box here. Grandmaster Korg, two pack. Keeping Hell and Scourge, that one's too cool. Lewis and Ghost, I can get rid of that. This first group here are boxes that I'm going to keep. This group in the back here are all the boxes I'm gonna purge and recycle. And then this group here are figures I still have in box that I'm gonna put on display on the shelf over here. Here are a bunch more figures I have in box that I already put to the side. So once I get this main group sorted, we'll get them out and integrate them in the mix. I'm separating out all the figures I still have in box that I want to display on the shelves. We're putting them up on this desk. Now I'm gonna grab the rest from the bottom shelves here that I already had set up. We're gonna put them into groups because I am just looking at that big monumental pile of figures there and <laughs> no idea where to start. Box figures into several categories. First is X-Men, comic book Marvel Legends, Infinity Saga, and then MCU. Completely disassemble all these. Make sure I take out all the accessories, extra heads, hands, guns that I've been holding in them, and then these will all get recycled. Feels good to purr. I'm working really hard, dude. I feel like I've made a ton of good progress, but then I still feel like there's still so far to go. I'm starting to fill in the shelves. You can fit 13 or 14 Marvel Legends onto a shelf, just depending on how you stack them in there. I like having the two facing front uh, that are in box. Here are some other figures that could be potential uh, front row candidates. My 90s X-Men figures, because this is where my Sentinel and 90s X-Men figures will go. So I thought having uh, those four in box right next to it would look really cool. We're getting these piles of shame and uh, towers of shame sorted out. We have two rows filled in here for Spider-Man or Spider-Man adjacent figures. And I know I want to have this Spider-Man facing out. Now I just got to find the two that are paired next to it. These figures don't go together because one's MCU and one is from an 80s cartoon, but Firestar deserves a place of honor on the new bookshelf. I just love this action figure and I can't bring myself to open it, so I'm excited to enjoy them now on this bookshelf. Underneath Firestar and Spidey, we have What If Zombie Cap and Captain Carter. Dude, these look so cool facing out like this. I love it, man. Inbox collectors, right? Isn't this awesome? This is just as good as putting it in a display. I am so glad I do both. I think we can enjoy them equally, right? Top shelf to the left of Spidey are the Infinity Saga boxes for Iron Man and Dude Thor. So we're sticking with the MCU, but then jumping to a comic book Walmart exclusive sculpt. And why not, man? I like them in this corner together. That looks pretty cool. Look how far we've come. I mean, there were piles and piles of figures on the floor. Now we got them sorted out, put in a bookshelf, and we just have to make a few more decisions. Man, this feels so much better than the piles of shame and clutter. I'm so grateful I was able to do this. You know what, man? That's bothering me in the corner. 
everything's aligned, right? Two and two, they're all the same size. And then when you look in the corner, that looks much better, man. I like Doctor Strange next to the Iron Patriot. I still gotta open that thing up to get the dude head out so I can build uh, Dude Thor. This looks like an epic uh, comic book shop, doesn't it? To the left of Zombie Cap, I have a group of deluxe figures that I've kept in box along with the Tony Stark Thanos 2 pack. And I'm gonna put two more deluxe figures that I've had in box right here. We'll have Thor be the headliner for right now. Sometimes, if I feel like uh, Compound Hulk, I can switch it up. And uh, I like now that instead of having these in boxes or in piles, that I can just walk over here and look at my action figures. <laughs> this is so great, man. To the left of Thor on the second shelf down, I found four Marvel Legends two-packs still in box. I really need that pyro for my 90s X-Men display, but I cannot bring myself to open this one. I'm going to highlight this by one of my favorite Legends two-packs, Cap and Peggy from the MCU. And then I'm going to pull pyro up as far as I can so you can see a nice little glimpse of him since uh, I've kept him in box. Wolverine with bike is not going to fit on one of those shelves, so he's going to go on top of the display. All five of these figures need to be offered to the toy gods. I'm going to put them on a shelf for now. Once it's time for my 90s X-Men Sentinel display to come together, I have to unbox these and assemble the Build-A-Figure Strong Guy. Plus, I also really need Tom Cassidy and Maverick for the 90s X-Men display. And Baku, Killmonger, and Black Panther all need to be offered to the toy gods. Once I'm ready to build my MCU display, I'm going to crack these three open as a glorious offering. Holy cow, we did it. We sorted through that mass pile of shame. I can't believe how much better this looks and feels. In Thank you.